I am actually on a works project and I've been traveling up and down the country for the last uh, four weeks but at the moment I am uh, you can't even see it it's so dark literally look it's just pitch black I'm in the middle of nowhere this is my hotel so when I say I'm in a hotel I'm kind of in a hotel it's classed as a hotel but it's actually um, I've got like my own little apartment so I sound like I'm you know, living the dream. I am kind of. Look at this mirror. Look, makes you look really good from any angle. <laughs> Just fall over a chair. And when I say I've got my own little apartment, I've got like a little pod. Probably be better if I showed you in the morning. This is my bedroom. This is my wardrobe. I don't know if you want to see my wardrobe. It lights up. So that's how you know it's posh. And another way of knowing how it's posh, right? Is, have you ever been to a hotel and you want to know whether it's a posh hotel? This is how you tell. This is a hanger, right? But it's not a security hammer, hanger. This is a hanger with a hook. And that sounds like, yeah, it's just a normal hanger, Russ. But <clears throat> this means they trust you. This means that they know that if you go to their hotel room, you're not scummy enough to steal their posh hangers. That's a, a, a nice sign. That means that they know that their, their clientele it's nice. They obviously have never met me and I'm as dodgy as they come. But I like the fact that they trust me enough to leave their hangers there and potentially I could take them home. I'm not gonna, because I'm just not like that. This is my bathroom. It is really nicely done out. I've stayed in the last four weeks, I've stayed in 10 hotels maybe. The hotel bathrooms, the one thing that I would say, let the place down. Normally, right, it looks like somebody from, you know, kindergarten or primary school has been, been given a can of um, mastic and just said, go into the room and have a play. And it, they just plaster mastic everywhere. It's just, I do a little bit of plumbing now and then. I help my mate out and I can mastic to an extent, but not like a proper plumber. But these guys, are, they're actually getting paid for it. So they are proper plumbers. They just smother mastic everywhere. It's, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. But this, I mean... I'm going to show you mastic in to this is like Premier League mastic in you know I cannot afford any of this mastic in at all just just done a really good job and the only thing I can afford this whole experience I've been here for two days this is my second day all right when you sat on the toilet this bugs me the pipes Let's start there and go at an angle. And now you can see it. We'll do it like that. So while I'm sat on the toilet, doing whatever you do on the toilet, um, that's what all you get to look at, and it just bugs me. If that's the only thing that will bug you out your whole experience of staying in a hotel, that's, they've done a good job. I'll put a link to the hotel in the description because I think it's, sorry, that's my steak dinner. I definitely think it's worth staying in this hotel. It's actually a golf course with a hotel on it. Um, but I highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to get off the toilet because, I don't know, it's not really nice vlogging on the toilet. And I don't know why I've got my coat on because it is boiling in this room. I'm just going to show you outside what it looks like. Uh, do I need my key? I better take my key just in case. Your key is like a bit of wood. It's a credit card bit of wood. I'm sure there's some sort of chip in it. I don't think they've come up with the technology yet to just use wood to open doors. Maybe 200 years ago. I actually have a hallway, coat hanger, front door, somewhere to put your sh dirty shoes, another door that goes into my room, see? And this is what happens when you go out of your room. Him. So this is my little pods. This is my little car that I went to um, all the way to Scotland in. That, that's how cold it is. Nice. It's going to be a cold one tomorrow. I'm just going to take you to see something, which I think is quite funny. Can you see it? It's the world's biggest elastic band bob. Guinness World Record there. I'll show you in the morning so you can actually see it. Oh. Oh, like I said, it is so cold out there. 
obviously back home i think it was about six or seven degrees it's a bit of a shock to, to the system but it's not windy so i don't mind it so much it's when it's windy that's when it becomes a problem just taking off my shoes uh, got my double layered socks on you know that's an absolute must put some lights on so you can see me Put the heating on. Why not, eh? Another way you can tell whether, you, whether you're staying in a posh hotel is you have your own coffee machine in your room, about as posh as it gets. So all you do, it up, and one falls into there. Pick a pod that you like. I had a green one earlier, and it was really nice. So if I can find another green one, I'm having it. And obviously, you couldn't go to Scotland and not have com complimentary, um, which is probably frowned upon because I actually work for Coca Cola. So don't tell them, shh. Otherwise, I'll get told off. Have a splash of milk. Don't leave comments in the thing saying I make coffee wrong. I have enough shit over the tea I make. Look that there. Coffee pod, shut that and lock it. I think that's done. And then push that till it makes a funny noise. I think I uh, need to add some water. Try again. Mm, I've done something wrong here. Ah, I hadn't locked it properly. I am so stupid sometimes, it's unreal. Right, well, starts making a funny noise. And I'm revving up. Here we come. I feel like Peter McKinnon making a, a vlog. Always start with a coffee, yeah? Extreme close up. You can tell I'm bored, can't you? <laughs> I'm sure having a coffee at 7.30 at night is fine. You know, some people might frown upon that, but not me. Look at that. All that cloudiness. Oh, stop, 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 stop. That's probably the least sexiest I've ever been on a on a YouTube video. That is gonna be a nice coffee. Get a bit of a stir. Get that milk flowing a bit. Lick the spoon. Just why waste it, I suppose. Wash the spoon in the same place you have. Probably not the nicest hygienic thing to do. That's nice. Very nice. Right, so as I was saying, I've been all over the country for the last three or four weeks. I can't even remember how long it's been now. So bearing in mind, normally I do about six miles a day. I work three miles away from my house. I go three miles to work, three miles back that's pretty much it so my boss come to me and said i've got an idea for a little project and i want you to help me do it anything film related i'm in got something film related i'll help you i'll do it he's got a little project and he needs to do a five minute video he wants me to go up and down the country showing how far our reps travel throughout the country sounds cool that was pretty much all the information he gave me he kind of gave me the not responsibility, but he gave me like the creative um, freedom to go and do that how I wanted to do, which uh, at first I was just like, you know, I'm going to do like a Guy Ritchie style frames coming in, frames going out, ch ch lots of choppy Edgar Wright style editing. I could have done that if I had a lot of time to plan it, which I didn't have a lot of time to plan anything really. He almost told us on the Friday and by the Tuesday I was off 
filming all over the country. So on the spur of the moment, short notice, I come up with a little idea that I, I had and I it, think it's it's really worked. I've already edited like 90% of what I've shot and it does flow really nice. Oh, my camera just shut down because it's too hot. So my GoPro just overheated. It's the first time it's done that. It's red hot. So there concludes my um, trip of the country. So I've literally gone from Scotland all the way down to the Isle of Wight and loads of places in between. It's been really cool, really fun. I'm gonna go and load up the car now. It's icy outside, very cold. I've got a seven hour drive ahead of me, which I'm not looking forward to. I've downloaded some pod podcasts. I've got Bill Burr and Joe Rogan to keep me company. I've got a long journey. I'm hoping to do it all in a one-up, but I don't think I will. I need to stretch my legs at some point. Doesn't look much, but there's a golf course there. And I think these are like the dunes to stop the balls hitting my window. I want to leave now, because it's nine o'clock. And if I don't leave now, it's going to be really late before I get home. Apparently the roads are really slippery, so I've got to be careful. So that's fine. I was going to have a coffee, because I think I'm going to, halfway down, I'm going to need one, but I'm not going to bother. Just another thing of trying to go for a wee, I suppose, halfway down. I want to try and avoid that. That's the giant uh, elastic band ball. I think it's a world record. Never seen one that big before. That's what she said. Right, so I'm gonna go and defrost my car and I'm gonna try and drive home without skidding everywhere because it's icy. Need to set on my camera then. Wallet front pocket in case I end up outside the car. Get some heat on the go. Seatbelt on. Confirm your language or something like that. All right, so we're putting maps on. I could never work this out. Um, oh man. and have a uniform that good. It just doesn't make any sense. Maybe because I grew up with... Take the next right, then turn left. I see Jim Plunkett. I see Kenny King. Was his knee down? Was his knee... Turn left. I mean, look at this for a road. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. Sitting down with a cigar... That is... You know, you have your right beautiful. Drink, you know, the Thanks.